In this video, I'm going to run you through the settings found within the Terrain Collider. Now, Terrain Collider is found within all of your terrains. Doesn't have much by way of settings. They're pretty simple. The first one is your material. Now, this is not a regular material. This is a physic material it's looking for. Let me go ahead and show you one of these here inside the project view. If I go into Create, pop one in. If we look at the settings for it, it's really just a definition of various physical properties for your surface. Things like friction, things like bounciness, uh, as well as the calculations for how friction and bounciness will be combined with a colliding object. You can take this and associate it with the terrain so that as you have rigid bodies that are bouncing around and rolling around on the surface, you can control them through the physic material. The next property is is trigger. Now this does a couple of things. One, while this is active, collisions with this terrain will be sent out and can be captured via scripts if you need something to happen, but they will not be calculated by the physics engine, meaning if you leave this on and press play, you will fall through the world as you see here. The next property is terrain data. Now, what this is going to do is build the collision mesh that is being used to calculate where you can and cannot collide with this terrain. Generally, this is automatically going to be associated with the terrain object that was created when you made this terrain. So in this case, if I dig down under my terrains folder, you can see Snow World Terrain. This was automatically made when I created this terrain in the first place, and you won't want to change this. Our last property is Create Tree Colliders. And if you're unfamiliar with the terrain system, this property can be a lot more exciting than it probably should be because you'll check it and think, ooh, I should now be able to collide with my trees. But you'll see that that doesn't happen. The catch is that while this does allow you to collide with your trees, it only works in cases where those trees have already been given colliding objects. So let me demonstrate this for you real quick. I'm going to jump into my terrain assets, and we'll scroll down and grab Scott's Pine Type A, which is literally all over my level. I'm going to drag an instance of it into the scene. I'll select it, go under Component, jump down under Physics, and drop on a Capsule Collider like so. Now, of course, we'll get our warning that this is going to end up losing our prefab, but that's okay. So I'm going to take the radius of our collider, and we'll pull it down to something a little bit snugger to the tree, not too much more. And oh, we probably don't need it to be quite that tall, so I'm going to take the height and bring it way down like so, and then we'll just lower the center so that we're really only colliding with the trunk. Now we have a version of the tree that has a collider object inside of it. Let's create a prefab for it. So I'll scroll up here inside my project view. I've got a folder here already called My Prefabs, which has got uh, at least one prefab in it. Let's create a brand new one, which I will name Collider Tree. So we can take Scott's Pine Type A, which has the capsule collider on it, and drag it into our brand new prefab. As soon as we do that, we can delete the one out of our scene. We don't really need it anymore. Now all we have to do is reassociate all of the trees in our scene with this new Collider Tree prefab. So we'll select the terrain, go underneath trees, and already we have a version of the tree which is missing where this is originally set to Scott's Pine. Now, that's kind of a video error because earlier on this was associated with Scott's Pine Type A, which is what you should be seeing here. So let's go ahead and grab Edit Tree, and we'll jump in and set this to Collider Tree, and click Apply. Now, if I play the map, currently we are bumping into the trees. However, that is a behavior that is part of this Create Tree Collider setting. So if I'm not playing and I uncheck this and hit play again and do the same thing, we now pass right through those trees. So again, that is what your, your checkbox is going to define. Are the trees that are being created through the terrain system going to have colliders, yes or no? And if yes, it only works if the, that tree prefab came with a collider in the first place. So that's a rundown of all of the terrain collider properties. That is going to wrap up this video. Thanks a lot.